Greetings, church. It's Thanksgiving week. The Bible has a lot to say about being grateful. One of the most famous things that it says is in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. The Apostle Paul writes, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Notice he doesn't say to give thanks for all circumstances. He says to give thanks in all circumstances. That's important. Also notice that he says this is God's part of God's will for your life. Uh, next time you're wondering, what is God's will for my life? Just think of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. At least part of his will for you is to actively give God thanks in all circumstances. Why? Why is this part of his will for you? Because it's good for you. It helps you keep things in the proper place. It helps you live a more fulfilled life. Perhaps you're struggling today with being grateful. Maybe this verse seems a bit daunting to you. I want to take just a moment and share with you this morning a truth that if you truly believe it, will keep you grateful all the time, no matter what. I want to start with a question. What determines something's worth? The answer is not an appraiser or the age of the thing, or the usefulness of the thing, or the rareness of the thing, or even the demand of the thing. The answer to the question, what determines something worth, something's worth, is this, whatever someone's willing to pay for it. A thing is worth whatever a person is willing to pay for it. In 2011, in December of 2011, there was a great auction held uh, to auction off Michael Jackson's belongings. Uh, he owned the, the dress that Judy Garland wore in the movie Wizard of Oz. Uh, that went for $480,000. A kitchen chalkboard where J Jackson's children wrote, I love you, Daddy, what sold for $5,000. An armoire, which Jackson wrote a message to himself on the mirror of, sold for $25,750. A rug that was beneath their bed sold for over $15,000. The total profit of this auction was $1 million. Later on, they sold his famous glove for $160,000, and they sold his famous thriller jacket for $1.8 million earlier that year. A thing is only worth what someone is willing to to pay for it, consider then the powerful words of John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. I've heard many a preacher say that you can replace the word world in that verse with you. For God so loved you that he gave his only son. For God so loved you that he gave his only son. Is your heart prepared to accept this profound truth? That God loves you this much? No matter what. No matter what you, you've done or not done. No matter what your circumstances are. This is always true. This is what you're worth to God. In Psalms 8, King David is writing of how overwhelmed he is with the greatness of God, how vast and mighty God is. And then David writes in verses 3 and 4, When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, the son of man that you care for him? You want to genuinely be grateful today and any day, every day of your life? Know this, the almighty God of the universe who brings into existence things that do not exist, who manages the cosmos, is mindful of, is intimately familiar with, is paying attention to you all the time. And he loves you more than any words can ever express so be grateful. Love you, church.